Oh, whoa. Oh, Toby's onto something. What is that? Oh, I just heard some coyotes. And Toby Dog's definitely on the attack. Thank you, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring this video. So tonight's episode of Goldshaw Farm is gonna be a little bit of a different one, you see. Because tonight, I'm gonna be camping out with Toby Dog and doing patrols with him. And I've got some special night vision goggles, so it's gonna be kinda interesting to see what I see. I don't know if I'm gonna run into coyotes, I don't know if I'm gonna run into bears, I don't know if I'm gonna run into coon hunters. It's gonna be kind of an adventure tonight. And we got little Molly and Jinjin hanging out with us too. What's up there, sweetie? How's it going, Molly Mall? Both cats love giving camera daps. Before we can have our sleepover party, we gotta get all the animals locked up. Oh man, these chickens keep escaping. Hey, so help me get these chickens in, huh? Come on. And you go, there you go. Toby dog, come on. What you doing down there? Marking your territory? Let's go, buddy. It's homeboy sleepover tonight. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, you're excited, you can tell. All ducks go to bed. Come on. Now, I know everybody's curious to see the duck ramp in action. Come on, Jemima. You can't jump up that high. I know. You're a little old lady. Come on. You can figure this out. You can do it. You got this, girl. There we go. Come on, little one. Yeah, this blue duck is one of my oldest khaki Campbells. He's always a pain in the neck to get in the house. I don't know why it is. How are you doing there, buddy bud? All the little chickens in. In your house. Let's go. General Washington, yeah, you don't belong in this flock. Get out of there. Close you guys up. Eventually you'll find your way home. How's my Molly girl? Huh? Aw, you're such a sweet gal. Yeah, this here's Lenny. Lenny the Wobbly Goose. Not developing as well as I would have liked him to, but he's doing okay. You got a Toby Molly situation. You don't like when he plays with you, huh, Miles? It's okay, he really means well. I don't think she's playing, man. You gotta take it easy on her. Let me lock up the silkies. They all look like they put themselves to bed, which is good. All right, fine. Go stay out there for the night. See if I care. Eh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Good night. All right, and here I am in my little campsite. I got Molly Barn Cat hanging out here, being all friendly and Molly-like. I got my little cot and my sleeping bag, a bag of goodies and treats, and I'm now ready for the stakeout. I also have these binoculars. And while it seems like night has just fallen, let's uh, go outside and check it out. Okay, here we go. So let's see what I see. Target, maximum firepower. Okay, and here we go. See the trees out there? See the grass? There's that little old poop that I have stuck out in the middle of the pasture that I was hoping to get the ducks to nest in there earlier this year. There's the beehive. Pretty good. You can see pretty well with this thing. Very cool. Over at this side of the farm, there are all the geese. They look like demons. There's my little hut. You can see it's actually kind of illuminated. All the geese are very disturbed by me being here tonight. Hopefully they don't make too much noise and I can actually get a little bit of sleep. Oh, wait, what's that? Be back. Oh. That's Ron Swanson, the little duck in the background. You see her? <laughs> hey, Toby Dog! Oh, whoa. Oh, Toby's onto something. Something's got his attention. What is that? What's out there, bud? Huh? Something out there? It's got your attention? See, when I talk about Toby's guard dog behavior, this is the main thing I'm talking about. Right here. You're doing the right thing, bud. Hey, Mr. Pablo. Hey, Molly Cat. You know, I actually put uh, some trail cameras up so I could see what's going on. So we'll be checking those throughout the night as well. Barn cat. What are you looking at there, geese? Are you jealous of my setup in here? Well, I'm taking this room over for the night. Sorry. So I think I'm going to go out and do a walk around the pasture with Toby Dog in just a little bit. 
But before I do, I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a treat here tonight. So I packed some fancy things. Packed a wine glass and packed a bottle of wine from today's sponsor, Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription founded by two MIT grads who wanted to help people discover wines that they love. And you know, for me, I am really not naturally a wine drinker, but I gotta say, ever since I tried out the whole Bright Cellars experience, I'm starting to come around on that one. With Bright Cellars, all you have to do is take a 30 second quiz and the algorithm matches you with the wines that you're guaranteed to like based on your taste profile. So for example, I'm drinking Jumble Sale tonight, which uh, comes with its own special card. And according to the card, Jumble Sale is a red blend. It's got kind of notes of pomegranate, and black cherry and chocolate and baking spices. I'm very excited to try this out. Sorry, Ginny, you can't have it. You gotta be 21. Ooh, fancy. Sitting in a goose coop while drinking red wine. Mmm, that's wonderful, Ginny. You know, Ginny, I gotta admit, I really do taste the uh, pomegranate here. Definitely the dark chocolate. That's really good. You know, what's cool about Bright Cellars is the more you rate and give feedback on the wines that you get, the better the matches come. And Bright Cellars also has a delight guarantee, meaning if you don't love one of the bottles of wine that came in your shipment, Bright Cellars will send you a replacement in the next box. The packaging is totally recyclable and plastic free. And right now, Bright Cellars is giving a special offer to Goldshaw Farm subscribers. You get 50% off your first six bottle box. Just click on the link down below and you can take your quiz and get started with Bright Cellars today. I gotta say, I'm feeling like a gosh darn aristocrat sitting here, sipping on this wine. Thank you, Bright Cellars. Whoa, I just heard some coyotes. And Toby Dog's definitely on the attack. Here, let's go on a walk around and see what we can see. I gotta admit, I kinda love going on these patrols with Toby Dog. <laughs> Sounds like the coyotes are over there. You see them? You hear them? You smell them? Huh, buddy? Toby, do you hear that? I hear it. What could that be? What is it? I heard like a cat meowing. I'm gonna assume it's one of the barn cats. Oh yeah, it is definitely a barn cat. Pablo, what are you doing up there? Yep. Is that Molly in the bushes? Hey Mal, what are you doing? You were following us? Pablo, I see you, man. Decided to come up and visit. Just hanging out by that apple tree, huh? Little Jinjin try to follow us? I hope not. All right, come on, gang. Let's go. Back up the hill. You can come with us, Molly. It's a team adventure. And it's funny, I did this roughly the same time last year. It was Pablo and Toby and me doing the rounds. Now we got Molly joining us, too. Kind of like that. Let's look out and see what we can see. All right, Toby Dog, let's head back down. Coming with us, Mr. Pablo Barncat? Come along now, buddy. That's just Molly. It's okay, Toby, it's just Molly. You and Molly gotta get used to each other. It's okay, Molly girl, come on. It's, that's just Toby Dog. You'd have no reason to be terrified of Toby Dog. He's your friend. He's your protector. But generally speaking, Molly, I don't want you up in this corner of the pasture. Come on, the whole Goldshaw Farm team, let's go. Little Ginny's probably terrified about where we are. I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool seeing some of this stuff with the night vision binoculars. Really didn't think I'd be able to see as much as I actually did. It's incredible 
the glimpse of the world that technology can give you sometimes. So you can see Pablo coming towards us. And I think I see Molly way up there. Molly's a little slower. She got scared by Toby, so she's taking her time. You can see her. She's coming. Here's our Molly girl. Ah! Hey, little Ginny. <laughs> you decided to stay back with everybody else gone? That's understandable, sweetie. I completely understand Ginny not wanting to go out with us. I'm actually glad she didn't. Oh, look at that. Ginny's reunited with her mom. <laughs> you two are great. All right. That was some fun and excitement, but I think I'm ready for bed. Got the barn cats guarding the entrance to the house here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear those coyotes again, but they're out. They're definitely out back in the back of the pasture. Sounds like they may be a mile away. Toby's over there somewhere, barking them off. Little Ginny's very curious. I'm really curious to see what those trail cameras out there pick up. It'll be interesting to check out the footage in the morning. Even though this was meant to be a sleepover with Toby Dog, I know it's probably just gonna be me and little Ginny Barncat here hanging out because Toby's gonna be doing his job tonight and he's gotta work. You're such a silly goose. <laughs> I'm really glad you like it in here, sweetheart. So I'm gonna hit the hay. If I hear any craziness in the middle of the night, I will wake up and bring you guys along with me. So let's see what happens. Good night. You hear that, Toby? I heard that. I could definitely hear him. You guys hear that? Toby's looking alert. You keeping him at bay, buddy? Doing your job? Good. Pablo, you looking nervous. I don't understand why, man. Those coyotes sounded pretty close. Before I go to bed, let's check on everybody. Geese are doing good. They're definitely on high alert. Toby dog seems on high alert. The barn cats are definitely on high alert. Oh, there's that duck that didn't want to go to bed. She seems pretty freaked out. Chicken coop over there looks pretty good. It's your own dang fault that you're out here. You could be locked up in that house, but nope. You didn't want to go to bed. Hey, Ron Swanson. You hear our Parks and Recreation crew with Ron Swanson. We got these ducks. They're doing okay. Sorry to disturb you. Are you guys curious to see what our big chicken coop looks like these days when they're sleeping together? Let's check it out. So you got the older chickens sleeping up top. Most of the younger ones still stick to the ground, but pretty soon they'll start all roosting. All right, good night guys. I need to disturb you. Unlike the ducks and geese who will stay up during the night, chickens are out like a light when the lights go dark. And speaking of which, I think I'm gonna try to go back and get some shut eye now, so. Uh... I'll check back in with you guys if anything else happens tonight. Hey girls. What are you doing little Jin Jin? Hmm? Oh, hey Molly. Good morning girls. Oh little Jin Jin, you're gonna kill my allergies. Oh. How are you doing? You have a good night? Good to see you, sweetie. How are you doing? Hmm? Okay, little alarm clock, let's get up. <coughs> oh. Yeah, uh, I don't think Ginny there just helped my allergies at all. Hey, Mr. Toby Dog. How's it going, buddy? So for the most part, Toby was pretty quiet for the rest of the night. Other than that one incident where I got up. I mean, I heard him bark a couple of times, but I didn't hear any coyotes. I didn't hear any other extreme activity. The biggest thing I ended up hearing were uh, these geese and this duck. Where's Blue Leg? This gal right here. You see her? I should have tried harder to lock her up. I would have gotten more sleep. 
Alright, fine. Go stay out there for the night. See if I care. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. And there is something about waking up with the rooster crowing. I mean, usually from the house, I can like just faintly hear the rooster. But man, sleeping in that hay shed right there, I could easily hear both our sets of roosters over there, over there. And actually, even I could hear, hear Penny, I think. Good morning, Ron Swanson. How are you doing, lady? Whenever you're ready to get out chickens, I know I'm letting you out early today. Usually my order of operation is I wake up, get outside right around this time, but then I start getting the feed and checking on stuff. And it's usually another 15 minutes before I'm out. So usually the chickens are out in a little bit more aggressive order. But no, nope, they're up today. Hey Pablo, how's it going pal? Pablo wanted nothing to do with that. How's it going Lenny? Release the quacken! All right, you guys don't want to get up early either, huh? It's so funny how much difference 15 minutes makes. Now, just so you guys know, I haven't gotten up yet to check the trail cameras. So I have no idea what you saw last night, but I hope it was interesting. Release the quacken! <laughs> How's it going, Jemima, old girl? Morning, chickens. Rise and shine. I'll let them take a minute and clean up their spilled feet. Yep, it's fresh water, guys. Just poured it for you. Morning, weird chickens. 